Hey everybody, welcome back to Shroom's Narnia. There's an Enderman bebopping around, but I wouldn't worry too much. He's a morning Enderman. It's first thing in the morning. They just like to disappear on you. Come on over here and say that. Give me some cacti. You too. Whoa. Hey. Like that cacti? Sizzle? Hmm. Seems to lag a, bit, a little bit. And I need wood and I'm getting cacti. Um, I found a nice cave around, well, a little cave under here. And I'm uh, gathered a little wood uh, and a little bit of meat. Cooked that up. Got some iron, some new fresh tools, and I'm ready to explore. And I want to get in here and check out the treasure before it gets blowed up. Um, because, see, hey, it can blow up. Oh, I did want to get some water, too. Why did I make a hole? Oh, yes. Now I recall. Okay, it's good to have some water. Never know when you might find a deep hole. And I've got some extra coal and torches. Torch this up a little. little better and head down quickly before something spawns and destroys it. And um, it's Christmas time. Yes, you can you can find a monster um, spawning in the dark here when you're uh, derping around nearby in the area or you know so many blocks away something could spawn way down here and destroy all your loot um, yeah they can I've seen a skeleton spawn down here and jump on that pressure plate or spider. Christmas time! Oh, hey! Christmas present! Wow! Merry Christmas, everyone! Gold and beautiful bones. Make a bone necklace. Oh my goodness! Four diamonds. That is a pretty rare find. And this box looks so nice. I think I'll take that. Look how pretty they are. Wow. And, uh, yeah, they do stack. I guess I might as well take them all. Oh. And I'm planning to go on a trip, and I might as well take that TNT with me. Um,. Oh, is there something spawning underneath there? Uh, sounds like there might be. Throw a torch down, see what happens. Hmm. 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 Well, let's just have a look. Oh, big cave. Oops. Why'd I come down here? Okay, yeah, so big cave is not really what I want to do for just because oh now I've got all this sandstone which I do like so I'll keep that. Yes, chiseled even from there.
Um, yeah, so my plan is not to spend too much time in caves. Already spent a bit of time down below, and I really just want to travel because one of my favorite things to do is traveling around. Got a little parkour there. And, uh, geez, I've already gathered plenty of junk. I've got five diamonds. And so I'll make, definitely make a diamond pick as my high priority. Um, go gather some wood. And try and figure out what's important quickly. I don't know. No, all this stuff. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, yes. Whatever. I'll come back for some of it. Maybe. Yes, I don't want to take it all with me because I have a tendency to die and stuff. And I want to head in one direction. Let's see, that's going up, so more towards zero. And so I'm like seven, seven. Yes, so I'm going to head uh, northwest. And yeah, I'm, I'm set. Like, I got lots of meat, lots of food, lots of great stuff. Um, that is a cool area, but I want to explore around, find a really cool area to settle down in, kind of thing. And let's go see what's out there. A little bit of forest. Um, Traveling around is one of my favorite things to do. And I see a tall tower. I have a feeling it's probably where I started from. Or that's when I was in the woods. Or that's where my deep hole is. Yeah, that's probably what it is. That would be my cave where I just came from. My deep underground cave. Yes, indeed. And I wanted to uh, extend the mark kind of out this way, where it would be a little more visible. It's been a few days since I played and uh, been enjoying a wonderful ice storm in Toronto, Canada, just before Christmas. It's beautiful, wonderful, pa no power for a while, so couldn't play. Um, but enjoyed my uh, laptop. Laptop comes in real handy when there's a power outage. Um, so, uh, got some DVDs from the library and just watch them. So, no TVs working. And um, yeah, had the power restored in 24 hours, which is better than some people. Some people have been without power for two days and might be a dark Christmas for them. Might be out for three days or so. Oh, I can't seem to run. Maybe I should eat a little bit or a lot. Ah, there, that's better. I can move, okay, so. <coughs> Got a uh, jungle and a swamp forest and a swamp and 
desert hills and more hills and the sun is setting so hmm not too far from that other camp oh crap <laughs> yes I could have gotten if I was smart I could have picked up some wool from uh, yeah from the from the temple got all that orange wool sitting there I now don't see any sheep but let's see I guess that plains might be a good place to look for sheep and I'm playing without armor so a little bit vulnerable Vulnerable. A swamp would also be a good place for sheeps. So, I'm going to try to play it smart and avoid the skeletons. Don't get too close to them. Maybe shoot them from a distance. Ah, crap. I should have. Uh, really should have got... oh, look at those skeletons. Of course, it's kind of fun when it's a little bit dangerous. Ooh. Creepers I, I just like playing with. And I should get some gunpowder from some of them. But they all give me good materials. So dark there. Hmm, I'm I'm a little bit at a loss what to do. Um, like, how far can I go? Yes, it'll be a battle all the way. How far will I get without dying? Because that is kind of the key, is not dying is usually a pretty good thing, but I'll have to shoot my way through everything I come across. And I don't know if it's even worth it. Or I can try and outrun them, but you're going to run into mobs of mobs. I don't know if I can outrun them, because everywhere you turn, boom, it's trouble. Isn't it? We shall try, though. Looking for those sheep. Whoa! Four <laughs> creepers. Stuck a bit. Oh, they got out of the water pretty quick. I shall defend this spot. This is my hill. Yes, I uh, usually can find little areas of safety. I certainly do have enough meat, but how far will I get? before I'm overwhelmed. I do like the desert area just because um, you know you can run so so easily. Um, and you can see for a good distance, you know, see what's coming. Sort of pick a safer area. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, this is a oh, uh, sheep. There we are. I see you. You didn't get eaten. Hmm, I would like to collect that. Don't need seeds. There we go. Two from one sheep. Yes. Okay, let's 
Very helpful. That is awesome. Two. Just need one more piece of wool. Or four string, which I have. So, I got her. Hello. Chew. Whoa. Spider time. Woohoo! Okay, so I've got enough. Actually, I don't need to risk my life anymore, but kind of uh, would rather do that. Get that one more. Yoohoo! Yahoo! Yeah, um, so when I'm, like, stuck out in the middle of nowhere kind of thing, this is my preferred method of escape. That hill looks nice. I could burrow in there. There's my other camp. And that's the thing about it is, up here I can see my other camp, put a light here, and I can be able to see this camp. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to set down a bed and I have to call this an episode really quickly. Running out of time. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.